Hello world and welcome to a day in the life of a mechanical engineer in training at Canadian Nuclear Laboratories. My name is Brittany and I work in the mechanical equipment development branch. My branch specializes in custom tools and equipment for low access, high dose environments and performs proof of concept testing for novel techniques. When there isn't snow on the ground, I like to bike into work as often as I can. The traffic's great and sometimes I'm greeted by friendly wildlife. In the winter, I like to grab some pals to take the cross country ski trail commute with me. I get to site, put my bike on the rack, put on my dosimeter and start walking down to my building, soaking up the beautiful view as I walk past the new Science Collaboration Center. I run into Kevin and Tyler who both work in my branch and then I head into our building and home sweet home, here we are in my office. I respond to a few emails and head on down to the shop. One of the things I love about our branch is it's very research and development focused and team oriented. So the engineers are often in the shop working directly with the techs throughout design, testing and assembly. I meet up with one of our techs, Dan, to discuss setup for an upcoming on-site training with an external supplier. Then I meet up with Fabrice, who I worked with a couple years ago to make some sample holders for a study he's leading. The study's looking at electrical cable life expectancies in irradiated environments, and our team has made some sample holders for the cables, which were embrittled and broke after being heavily irradiated. So it's time to make him some new ones. Here we are in his lab, taking a look at the part that failed. I bring the part back to my office for now and head back down to the shop. This is a mock-up of some tooling that our team has designed for a decommissioned reactor. The tooling is going to be used to collect samples from key areas in the reactor, and data from those samples will help inform the waste stream for dismantled reactor components. Today I'm doing some validation testing for this tooling with one of our techs, Brad. We're working through several test scenarios together to ensure our tooling performance meets the requirements. And we're also making some small adjustments to the tooling as we go to make sure the deployment is as seamless as possible. I say hi to Ian, who's machining a part for a test rig. Then I head up to the gym for lunch. I'm doing lots of cardio lately to get ready for the Deep River Triathlon, so I'm doing a little bit of weight training today to even all that out. There's also some really nice running routes around site that I go on sometimes, but today I needed air conditioning and I wanted to bug Travis while he's doing his shoulder shrugs. Then we do a little team quad stretch and head back to work. Then I meet up with Zhang Hin, a designer in our branch, and then a Nan in the print lab, trying to work with them to get that sample holder replacement ready. Now I'm making some quick comments on a document that accompanies a model of the Zeep reactor that we made recently. And then I go see another one of our designers, Ethan, to discuss modeling for this project, where we aim to produce this complex nuclear grade part via additive manufacturing to save costs and time. And last but not least, here's Robin discussing calculations he performed that I'm now doing a quick whiteboard review for. These calculations are for a robotic arm that we're designing that will be deployed in a decommissioning environment and be used to perform characterization work and other light duty tasks. I'm verifying that the stresses he calculated are correct, which will allow us to select the proper components. Then I badge out, hop on my bike, and pedal home. Well, that's all for me. Thanks for following along with my work in supporting clean nuclear energy development at Canada's premier nuclear science and technology organization.